This morning in the Roadshow Kitchen, we welcome back Wendy Joring, Director of Community Engagement at the Jewish Alliance of Greater Rhode Island. Good morning, Wendy. Good morning. Nice to have you back. Nice to be here. Today we're talking Passover, yes. and uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Passover began Monday at nightfall and runs through Tuesday. Correct. And uh, a, a fe eight-day festival, really, yep. commemorating the emancipation of the Israelites from slavery yep. in ancient Egypt. Yes. I know a lot of things. Very I'm very good, good at trivia. Research. We went over this together beforehand, <laughs> but let's talk about what we're making to do that matzo balls so we are making matzo ball soup now coming from new york you can get matzo ball soup all year long at any diner any religion it's not a jewish thing if you go to a diner you eat matzo ball soup but a lot of people just eat it around passover sure so i made homemade oh, oh look at the steaming cauldron it smells great and there are matzo balls in here now they're good and my kids taste tested them and they said they're delicious <laughs> but they're not like my grandmother's with me oh uh, they're still great your grandmother set the bar high and take us through some of the ingredients of the matzo balls so i use um most people use the basic ingredients are some kind of fat or oil some people use like my grandmother would have used chicken fat from the soup okay um but i use oil matzo meal chicken stock um salt you mix it all together it goes in the fridge for about a half hour and then you make your matzo balls and it, you boil them in water. It smells absolutely delightful. For once, I'm not the best smelling thing in the Roadshow <laughs> kitchen today. It's all because of you. And you can kind of simplify this. If nobody has uh, tackled this or tried it at home, yes. you can take us through the steps. Absolutely. No one should be intimidated. No, it's very easy. Will you hold my hand as we do this? I, I will hold your hands. I Wendy's going to lead me through this. We're going to celebrate Passover right here in the Roadshow kitchen with the preparation of the matzo balls. You don't want to miss it. For now, back to you. Back, you know where back to the kitchen. Yeah, that's right, because we've got matzo balls to make with Wendy. She's the director of community engagement at the Jewish Alliance of Greater Rhode Island. And and so I, I think it's nice that you're here. You're teaching us how to make this, but you're also yeah. teaching us a little bit of, you know, history of yeah. Passover. Why yeah. do we celebrate? We celebrate, too, um, for the Jews' freedom, for the mm -hmm. Jews' escape, escape from slavery. And we celebrate with um, foods that remind us of that time. Um, and matzo ball soup is probably the quintessential you know, Passover food, although yeah. like I said before, some people have it all year long and it's it's really delicious. And why not? Yeah, it is so good. So we have to make the yes. matzo. So you make, so we're going to make the matzo balls. The chicken soup is already made. Mm -hmm. So this is four eggs. That's just water. Oh, that's this just is, water. Yep, those that are still for the matzo balls. Good too. But this is the soup. Mm. Okay, so these are four eggs beaten lightly. Okay. Okay, I'm going to take two tablespoons of oil, a quarter cup of the soup stock that's cooled, about a teaspoon of salt, and a splash of seltzer. This is my Ooh. grandmother's. It exploded before. This is my grandmother's <laughs> trick. And she always swears that it makes them a little bit lighter. So Get those bubbles in there. Mix it up. Now, why do we eat matzah? We eat matzah because when the Jews escaped, they didn't have time for their bread to rise. So a uh, cracker formed. Mm -hmm. So um, for the eight days, we eat only unleavened products. Um, and this is matzah meal, just matzah ground up. This is actually uh, matzah farfel, which is matzah just broken up, not as ground, that mm -hmm. um, a good friend of mine who we celebrate Passover with every year, Mindy, taught me that they put it like soup nuts into their soup. Oh, wow. um, when they eat it, we had never done that in our family, so I brought some of that to put in after. Nice so to you share mix your it up well. Family recipe. It is. Your trick with the seltzer. And yeah. Yours with the and what's nice is that um, Passover is about tradition and it's about mm -hmm. family. Yeah, that really is the importance of the holiday. You'll have some delicious food exactly. to accompany it, but gathering all together. Yes. Um, will you tell us more about Passover when we come back? Absolutely. Okay, great. Absolutely. I want to learn more about it, and I'm sure maybe you guys have some questions as well. We're going to finish the matzah and talk more about Passover in just a bit. All right, we are back in the kitchen with Wendy, and we are making matzo balls, learning all about Passover, what the Jewish Alliance of Greater Rhode Island has to offer. So where do we stand? We just made the okay. mixture. So this has been in the refrigerator for a half hour. Some people even say there's a very famous um, cookbook author, Joan Nathan. I read in her book, she likes to leave this overnight. So I've never okay. done that, but okay. Was that you sneaking in here last night that around 8 o'clock? I thought that so. That was me. <laughs> so you wet your hands. Mm -hmm. You make a ball, in there too. Okay. and then you drop it right in Do they have to the to boiling water. Do they have to size or just make sure they're... You know, they say try. They say about the size of walnuts, but my kids tend to like them a little bigger, so I try mm -hmm. to go a little bigger, but you don't want to go too big because then they could fall apart. Okay. Rolling those up. That's not much of a... <laughs> like a dough? No, you got to really You really got to get in there. Keep All right. rolling it, yep. friend. <laughs> now, as we roll these, you were telling us Can't earlier of 
why yes. we eat something like matzah and yes. unleavened bread. And then Brendan brought up um, a, a fun activity that you guys Yes, yeah. we hide the matzah, which I think you found last year. You found it much quicker I than think Will. I did, yes. Will could not find the matzah oh, no, last Will year. Oh, Will have a problem with um, any type But of we hide the matzah for the kids to find. And it's, you know, it's really nice. Easter and Passover, believe it or not, have a lot of similar um, you know, traditions and mm -hmm. kids find Easter eggs, we find the matzah. And in the matzah, sometimes people put money, they put gold coins, Ooh. they'll put a little prize, and it's just fun. It's a fun tradition. This and is all about, the holidays are all about the traditions and bringing them down mm -hmm. from generation to generation. Of, of course, you passing that on to the next one and us Absolutely. learning, of course, about all of those great traditions. And talk mm -hmm. about, you know, Wendy, what's going on at the Jewish Alliance of Greater Rhode Island. A terrific place, lots happening there. There is lots happening always. The Jewish Alliance of Greater Rhode Island is an amazing place. Um, what people don't always realize is you don't have to be Jewish to be a member of the Jewish Alliance. We are a fitness center. We are an amazing, uh, have an amazing swim academy and pool, Lenny K Swim Club. We we um, have a great fitness center. We offer arts and culture programs. Mm -hmm. And um, it's just a great organization that's based on Jewish values, which are really human values. That's absolutely true. Like great place. Hear. I used to play basketball there. Oh, so I'm really? wondering if I pop over, if I'd still dominate the court. I think I could get you in to play some basketball. All right. <laughs> Kayla and I both play. We could be like, <laughs> might, yeah. we could be like ringers. We have a lot of pick up basketball those games. Are those people from TV, they're pretty right. good. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they say that. I hope so, too. So what As do we opposed need? to those are those people from TV. They say <laughs> Air ball. So where are we up to now? So after you make the matzo balls, you cover. How long should those cook for? They cook for anywhere from 20 to 40 minutes. And then you have the finished product right here. Wendy, we'll be right back. We I promise. know. we got to get some papers. Sorry. Sorry. The the Wendy and sandwich I can plate complete. this for you. Okay. And you've made some chicken soup. Oh yes. I made homemade chicken soup last night. I know you mentioned before of how over at the uh, Jewish Alliance, you don't have to be Jewish to Correct. be there. I feel the same way about matzahs. This is such a familiar dish for people that maybe they are Jewish. Absolutely. Like I said before, if you live in New York and you frequent a diner, you know what matzo ball soup is. Mm -hmm. um, it's on the menu all year long, not only at Passover. Um, and matzo ball soup is for anyone. It's kind of like a, the Jewish dumpling, the Jewish version of the dumpling. Well, who doesn't love a good dumpling? Okay, so I know. there are two bowls right there, and uh, this is actually going to be mine right here. I'm taking oh, this you home got with it. me. I think <laughs> I might need a, a napkin yeah. before oh, I get a spoon. Brendan, you think here. you can help me out? I think I can. Let's send some paper towels right over Thank here. Thank you very much. There you are. Now, the hiding of the matzo, that happens yes. at a certain time, correct? That happens at the end of the festive meal. And that will happen uh, on Tuesday? That, no, so we did our festive meals on Monday night and Tuesday night. Um, there's a lot of symbolism that goes on. We hide the matzah. Um, we use the matzah that has been sitting on the table mm -hmm. um, for the meal. We have something called, oh, I'm sorry, a Seder plate, which has a lot of symbolic foods. We have parsley that we dip in salt water to symbolize um, the Jews' tears and everything they went through. We have a delicious wow. di dish called haroset, which symbolizes the brick and mortar. Um, so there's a lot of symbolic foods on the table that we eat. Um, Matzo ball soup always comes out and always makes an Wendy. appearance. Oh, oh and gosh. I forgot. So this, this is what is my delicious. friend taught me. There we go. That this is kind of like soup nuts. And we, my, they're delicious. We can't thank you enough. You couldn't be more delightful. Oh, thank so you so much. You. A happy Passover to you and your family. Thank you so if much. If you would like to get the recipe for the matzo balls, you know what to do or to learn more about the Jewish Alliance of Greater Rhode Island, just head to roadshow.com. It's delicious. Again, happy Easter. Yeah.